Hey guys, so today's video is going to be an updated makeup collection. I'm so excited for you guys to see this because it's been a long time since I've done a makeup collection video. Oh my gosh, it's been probably two years. So I'm going to break this video up into two parts. It's going to be my makeup collection and then a vanity tour. This video, I know it's probably going to be like an hour long because I, there's just a lot to show. Which leads me to my next point. If you're someone who gets offended by these videos, don't watch because I have a ton of makeup and I'm not going to apologize for it. This is my job. This is what I love. And it, it accumulates. I have a ton. This is my collection. I am happy with it. I'm proud of it. It's not a normal collection, but like I said, it's my job. It's what I do. So if you're going to comment negative things about, oh, you have too much, help the world and donate, don't even bother because I do my part to help the world. This is what I love and this is what I have. So with that being said, if you guys would like to see my makeup collection, just keep watching. Okay, that candle was lit when I started filming. <laughs> anyway, this is the top of my big Alex drawer. I'm still in the process of getting my room together, so like crap on the floor. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> so on top here, I just have this little tray that I got from Marshalls and I keep my most worn jewelry on top of it. I always have a candle burning. That one just went out. I have just some pretty lippies that I feel need to be displayed. Let's get in focus here. So I have a YSL, a MAC, and then my two Charlotte Tilbury. And back there I have a rose lip balm from Anthropology. And then in here, this really pretty little dish my friend sent to me. And I just have my Glisten and Glow, my little cuticle balms in there. I have a little flower back there that is from Marshalls, some lip glosses, some of my favorite lip glosses, and my little ColourPop strobing kit just because it's so pretty. I had to display it. Oh, and then in here I have Morphe gel liners and this little dish my grandma made in like 1950. So go grandma i still don't have these shelves like done yet i just kind of threw that stuff up there but i have my Too faced born this way foundations an lc foundation a mac lippy a little tarte maracuja oil my nars lip glosses i'm um, just a little um like a little brush holder but i have lip liners in it my topaz phone case because it's so cute and then a fresh sugar um, body oil. And then on top I just have the Stardust packaging because it was so pretty. A uh, body shop, like body glitter kind of thing. And then my Jaclyn Hill Favorites Palette box because it's so cute. And then I just have some pictures on the wall. Okay, so starting out with the top drawer, this is all foundations. I thought I had concealers in here, but I guess not. So in the back here, well I do have my LA Girl Pro um, Conceal. These are just backups and extra ones like shades that don't match me. And I have all of the LA Girl BB creams. Um, I have two of the NARS Radiant. Oh my god, Radiant Creamy. Have you lost your mind, Nicole? What are these called? Why? Oh, Sheer Glow. <laughs> and then over here I have the NYX HD Studio Foundations. I got these in a swag bag at IMATS. And then I have my Marc Jacobs Genius Gel. I have some Urban Decay Naked Skin. Wait, are we in focus? Let me focus this guy. Okay. Urban Decay Naked Skin, I have a few of those. I have Gorgeous Cosmetics. I have a few of the Becca Ultimate Coverage Complexion Cream and the Lorac Perfection. Makeup Forever Matte Velvet, L'Oreal True Match, Makeup Forever HD. I have like 20 of these. This one is broken. Um, I have a Girlactic. This is the La Creme Foundation. It's like a cream foundation. Um, Makeup Revolution, a couple L'Oreal True Match, Tarte, and Laura Mercier Silk Cream. So that be it for foundation. Second drawer, I have mostly highlighters and powders. So over here, I just have an assortment. I have LA Girl, It Cosmetics, NYX, Girlactic, Too Faced Primed and Poreless, Makeup Forever. I mean, there is honestly an assortment. In the back, there's a Napoleon Purtis, Urban Decay, like 
seriously how many powders do we need and then these are the beauty bar baby highlighters I have to do a video on these because they are so gorgeous and then over here I have the L'Oreal true match Lumi powders at first I thought I liked these they're terrible like come on L'Oreal such a disappointment um, I have a few NYX ones I have some Gerard so pretty back here I have a few sunscreens and here I have mostly powder highlighters so I have some makeup revolution I have cover effects Estee Lauder Maybelline Galactic cover effects Stila Ofra their minerals I mean I know I know and then over here these are liquid Highlighter, so I have Smashbox, Bare Minerals, Well Rested, my Becca Shimmering Skin Perfectors are all in here. They're down at the bottom. Here, let me kind of pull this out. See, they're down there at the bottom. Wait, are we even in frame? Oh my god, I'm like falling off the camera. Um, I have a Benefit, What's Up, some Rimmel, Cargo, Sonia Kashuk. Oh my gosh, these are the little Becca ones that came out over Christmas time they're really nice I hope they do that again this year I have an Urban Decay Naked Skin this is actually really pretty I don't know why I don't use it more so just again an assortment of liquid illuminators oh what is this this is NARS Copacabana you guys one of my all-time faves I don't use it anymore though like come on Nicole get get your game going girl oh and then back here I have a Gerard BB plus which I have another one in use this is like a backup even though I already started using it I have my naked flush palette the makeup revolution radiance palette this is really pretty uh. it's very similar to the um, hourglass ambient lighting palette and then I have this limited edition Sephora and Pantone palette. Um, the highlighter in here I don't like, but I love this as an eyeshadow, and this is pretty as a blush. And look how cute the packaging is. Okay, the third drawer is more foundation, primer, BB creams, concealers, and then just a little assortment. So these are foundations that I use on more of a regular basis. The ones that I showed you up here are ones that I don't really use that I probably should get rid of. Um, so I have Maybelline Dream Wonder, the Bourjois Healthy Mix. I have two of these guys. Three of the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte because this foundation is amazing. Best drugstore foundation ever. Um, the uh, Girl On, totally lost my train of thought, Girl On Terracotta, NARS All Day Luminous, I have a Maybelline Matte and Poreless, and then a few of the Smashbox Studio Skin. And then the Charlotte Tilbury Light Wonder, this is really nice. And then I have three more of the Makeup Forever HD. I know, I need to have like every shade for the entire year because it's just so good. And they don't make it anymore, so I'm glad that I have all of these guys. And then back here we have primers, just a total assortment. I have Tarte, Lorac, NYX Angel Veil, um, NYX Shine Killer, NARS. I also have eye primers in here. Um, LA Girl Pro Prep, Dr. Brandt Pours No More, my favorite Smashbox, Photo Finish, Pore Minimizing. I have Monistat Chafing Gel. Yes, this works as an amazing face primer. You know what, I'm gonna keep that out because I need to use that. Um, Tarte Flawless or Clean Slate Flawless. So just an assortment. The Bare Minerals Prime Time. I hope you guys can see. This is kind of hard to film by myself. And then over here I have BB Creams. So I have a Girlactic. This is actually a really nice one, the Skin Tint Moisturizer. The Too Faced Beauty Balm, Makeup Revolution Ultra Face Base, um, oh this is a foundation, the By Terry, and then the Jouer Matte Moisture Tint, this is another really nice one. NYX BB Cream, Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue, um, It Cosmetic CC Cream, Napoleon Purtis Stroke of Genius, <laughs> I know. Um, Tarte Amazonian Clay Tinted Moisturizer, and then there's some LA Girl BB Creams back here. This is actually my shade, so I just keep it in here. And then Smashbox Camera Ready. Wow. 
I didn't think I had that many because I really don't use BB cream that often. But apparently I feel like I need to have 7,000 of them. And then in here is concealer, mostly the LA Girl Pro Conceal. I have a ton of these. Um, MAC Pro Longwear, Maybelline Fit Me, eh, Maybelline Instant Age Rewind, Rimmel Match Perfection, Rimmel Wake Me Up. This is actually a really nice concealer. And the Maybelline Master Conceal. This one's also really nice. And the L'Oreal Visible Lift Blur. Oh my goodness. NARS Radiant Creamy. I mean, L'Oreal True Match. You name it, it's probably in here. I know I have issues. What is this? Oh, it's Shiseido. Okay, and then over here I have a backup of the Ultra HD Foundation, which I was given at a Makeup Forever event. And then I have all of the NYX Conceal Correct and Contour Palettes. And this is a Morphe, let me get it out and show you guys, a Morphe Concealer Palette, I'm pretty sure, if I can get it open that guy. I haven't tried it out yet. I just got it not too long ago. And then underneath there, I have all of the NYX CC creams and a primer. So that is that. Now let's see if we can get the drawer back to the way it was. Okay, the next drawer is all eye stuff. So in here I have eyeliners. I mean, how many eyeliners do we really need? There's pretty much every brand in here. I'm not really going to go through them. I mean, there's Stila, there's NARS, there's NYX, there's Bella Pierre, more NARS, Rimmel, Urban Decay, seriously, like every brand. In here, these are like chubby sticks or eyeshadow bases, so this is a Clinique chubby stick. And then I have a bunch of the Rimmel Scandal Eyes. These are really nice. This one is stuck, apparently. This one is, what are you called? Bootleg Brown. What? kind of name is that but that's what it looks like these are these are really good and then there's a couple tart smolder eyes but I actually don't like these I prefer the Rimmel ones are we in focus shut the F up okay sorry I think we weren't in focus um there's a couple makeup forever it's mostly the Rimmel ones though because I really like them and some L'Oreal infallible this one is impressive brown Ooh, that is really pretty. Shut up. Oh my gosh, I need to like shop my stash. And then in here, these are all pigments, um, mostly loose pigments. So I have some from NYX, I have Essence, a lot from Makeup Geek, um, some Violet Voss glitters. Her glitters are gorgina. And then some Napoleon Purtis. The Napoleon Purtis ones are also really good. Um, a bunch of Jessie's Girl. I think I have all of the Jessie's Girl. And Giorgio Armani Eyes to Kill. A couple from Eye Candy. A couple Hard Candy. And I think there's a few on the bottom from the balm, but I'm not going to dig all through this. If you guys want me to do like a in-depth makeup collection of any specific area, like eyeliners or blushes or whatever just let me know because I can always break it up and go like more in depth this is just like a very brief you know and then back here these are all brow products so I have backups of the NYX micro brow I have a bunch of different just like brow gels I have some NYX some pixie some Anastasia uh, some makeup forever aqua brow the NYX tame and frame I need to try this because I don't know I never hear anybody talk about it but it looks like it would be pretty nice I did try it once but I need to play with that guy and then there's a Mac paint pot and over here I have a bunch of the brow bar to go um, brow powders from Gerard I got some of these when I was at the Gerard party and just you know in life I've somehow accumulated like five of them. Back here there's a random Ben Nye banana powder just kind of hanging out because why not? And then in the back there it's more pigments and just stuff that I really don't use. So some of the Maybelline color tattoo, the pure pigments. Do you guys remember these? 
and some elf and just stuff that I'm not really using. So that is the fourth drawer. We're getting there, people. Okay, this next drawer is probably one of my favorite drawers because it's like, it's backups and it's new products that I need to use. So I have a lot of the Kaplan lip glosses. I, yeah, you can see. I have backups of my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. I have one big one and two of the trial size, like travel size ones. I have a Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I have an extra loving tan mitt, which I actually really do not like this mitt. I love this tanner, but the mitt kind of stinks. Um, and then I have the Too Faced Better Than False Lashes Extreme, which I need to try. I have some lip scrubs, a backup of my Becca Champagne Pop. This is Jaclyn Hill's highlighter and a backup of my Gerard Audrey highlighter. And then I have a couple extra LA Girl Pro Conceals because apparently I didn't have enough up there. Um, I have a backup of my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. And then there's a bunch of Murad skincare that they sent me that I need to try out. Like look at all this stuff. Oh, and a backup of the Gerard BB Plus. I guess I have two backups. And then back there, that is Nerium. It's a skincare brand that I, I have tried it, but I kind of need to try it more. I only used it like two times. And that is pretty much it. Um, NARS, there's some Makeup Forever, Plexiglosses. A lot of this stuff you guys will see in giveaways. I kind of hoard stuff in here, and then when I am going to do a giveaway, I'll just like pick some of it out and put it in. Okay, this next drawer is blushes and a little bit of bronzers. This is like my favorite drawer. I love this drawer. So I have um, blushes that I've depotted. So this is just like an assortment of blushes and some more with a couple eyeshadows mixed in. These are the NYX, the new NYX blushes. And then these are my Makeup Geek blushes, which I actually need to keep this out because I've been neglecting them and they are absolutely amazing. So this is staying out. And then in here I have some NARS multiples. I have some of the Becca Beach Tint um, cream blushes. These are all like cream products. And then the Bronze BB from Maybelline, which it, it sucks. Um, I have some of the L'Oreal blur blushes the visible lift blur blur and then over here these are bronzers that i don't use that often so i have a girl on terracotta the elf body glow which is actually really really pretty in the summertime benefit hula the sonia kashuk cream bronzer that's supposed to be a dupe for the chanel one um park avenue princess is that what this is yes park avenue princess from tarte and then the NYC Sunny Bronzer, a Pixie Bronzer, Jane, Becca. This one I don't really care for. This is the Becca Low Light Highlight Perfecting Palette. Am I still in focus? Um, actually, you know what? Maybe I do like this. I think it was a different one that I didn't like, so disregard that. But yeah, I need to also keep that guy out. This is what I do. I just like shop my stash and kind of swap things. So I try to use what I have instead of it just sitting around. And then up here, these are the, let me change focus because I feel like we're not in focus. Um, the Maybelline Master Glaze, I have a bunch of those. Can you guys see in there? Yeah. So I have a bunch of those. I have a Josie Marin Coconut Water Color Cream Blush and this little Sonia Kashuk Cream Blush. It's not cream, but it's kind of creamy. Wow. And then over here I have the NARS, what were these called? The, oh my god, my eyesight is so bad, dual intensity blushes. So this one is Adoration. They're really pretty, but I could never really figure out how to use them because the formula is kind of weird on them. I have some Cargo, um, some NYX, some Bare Minerals. These are the MAC Limited Edition Isabel Toledo blushes. They are so pretty. I love these guys. And then I have some from The Balm, some Milani, gosh. Okay, I don't really know where my camera shut off, but it did just shut off. So I don't know where I stopped, so I'm just kind of gonna hopefully not repeat anything. But we have Milani, gosh, Essence, Kat Von D, Revlon, 
you guys saw the MAC ones. And then these are the limited edition Maybelline ones that were out last summer. So I have all of those guys. And then I have the LA Girl Blush palettes. I talked about these before. Um, there's four of them, I think. Or five? Yeah, four. So I have all of them. Oh, there we go. Sorry. Um, down here I have a Morphe blush palette, which I don't use this one as much as I use the other one, which you guys will see if we ever get over to my actual vanity. So that's, but it's really pretty. You know what? I'm going to keep this guy out too. Okay, so this drawer is all stuff that I want to film videos on, and it's also new makeup. So I have the Too Faced Love Palette. You guys, look how pretty she is. Isn't that gorgeous? I have a couple of the new cargo palettes. I have the Essentials Palette, which is actually in my giveaway. Not this one, but one of these guys. And the Cargo Summer in the City. Yeah, Summer in the City Palette. Look how pretty that is. Oh, I love it. And I have the new e.l.f palettes which they were nice enough to send me I definitely am doing a video on these so stay tuned for that and then in here these are just like backups of my favorite NARS lip pencils a subscriber sent me like four of these guys Recusion, which is my favorite one so I have a bunch of them and then I have the Maybelline baby lips which I have tried and I do like them I think they're nice so I have a couple of those these I wanted to film on, which I never got around to it. The Maybelline Better Skin and the CoverGirl Stay Luminous. These are two newer drugstore foundations. And the Sigma Smokescreen Palette, which I think I've used like one time. The Battle Ash for Sauce Box Palette, which I have not used at all. I've only swatched it. Like, what am I thinking? I know. And then I have some new Jouer makeup that I am going to be filming a video on, definitely. Over here, these are just backup lip products. So I have some Gerard. And that's pretty much it, just Gerard. And then back here, these are the Becca, their new, what are they called? The Shadow and Light Brow Contour Mousse. They sent me these, and I haven't tried them yet. So yeah, this is just like makeup I need to use. Um, just some different gel liners and then a wet n wild palette a sleek palette that was sent to me by a subscriber this is really pretty look how cute that is and I've never used it it's so pretty though I feel like I'm out of focus sorry if I am and then these are two makeup revolution palettes that again I need to use there I have some Clinique palettes and then Ofra Lorac and a pixie palette and then this is the lotus palette from veramona this is really cool because you have your eyeshadows but then you have one of the color switch um by veramona you clean your brushes off on it it's really neat it's kind of feels like a brillo pad or something it's neat and then this cynthia rally palette that i think i got in a swag bag the formula is actually really nice on these guys. I never knew Cynthia Rally even did makeup. And look at the packaging. Oh, I love it. And then in the back here, I just have a bunch of prestige eyeshadows that they sent me. Some cargo lip liners. Another Jouer Matte Moisture Tint, but this is the wrong shade for me. And a bunch of Jouer Lippies that are going to be in that video that I'm filming. Okay, this next drawer is some of my eyeshadow palettes. This is only some of them. Back here I just have single eyeshadows, Napoleon Purtis, Gemma Kid, L'Oreal, uh, Stila, Sephora, Pixie, there's just an assortment. And then I'm not going to go through everything, but I have this little Bare Minerals palette, which is really pretty. One of my friends gave this to me. Um, this is the Wet n Wild, what are you called, vinyl collection. That's really pretty. Um, The Sola look. It's Judy time. This is a really nice palette. Um, some NYX, Sonia Kashuk, Lorac, Napoleon Purtis, Borghese, uh, Gorgeous Cosmetics, Urban Decay's under there. And then my Tarte. I love this palette. This came out last year. This was a Christmas time palette, but that's what it looks like. I don't even know what this is called, but isn't it so pretty? And then we don't need that. And then this Hello Kitty palette that Sephora sent me, 
I, when I first saw this, I was like, oh, I'll give it to a little kid. And then I swatched it, and the freaking pigmentation is out of control on this thing. It is so good. This is the Tarte Rainforest After Dark palette, which is really nice. I grab this a lot if I'm in a hurry and I have to do my makeup in the car because it like has everything. Um, Steal It in the Light palette. I have a Z palette down here with just an assortment of eyeshadows and like bronzers. Um, the Revolution or the Makeup Revolution Iconic Pro palette. This is really good. I filmed a video with this palette really nice and really inexpensive um this cargo palette i don't like this one it's not very nice and then my urban decay vice 2 palette the two faced everything nice which is really good smashbox double exposure palette smashbox gave me this when i filmed at their studio um another borghese palette the l'oreal what are these called? The La Palette Nude, which is crapola. I don't like them. And then I have this By Terry palette, which one of my friends gave to me. It's so pretty. Look at that. Ugh. So expensive, but so pretty. Like, you know shit's expensive when it comes with a velvet pouch. Like, don't even, don't even try me, girl. Oh, and I almost forgot my, one of my favorite palettes, the Too Faced Pretty Rebel palette. This is amazing. I loved this palette for years. And the Tarte, what are you called? Um, Golden Days and Sultry Nights palette. Pretty. Okay, this next drawer is more eyeshadow. These are more like eyeshadow singles. So I have the single NYX Prismatic shadows, some Essence. These are the L'Oreal Infallible shadows. All Maybelline color tattoos. There is one random Sigma base in there. Um, my Anastasia contour palette, which I really don't like. And then back here I have the Anastasia cream contour palettes, which I didn't think were the best. Um, more singles. These are ones that I don't ever use. Some flower, Makeup Forever, J Cat, Napoleon Purtis, Elf. There's some um, in there from the Balm, just an assortment. Over here I have extra Makeup Geek singles. And then these are pretty much all wet and wild. Ow. Um, wet and wild. I have the bigger quads. I have some of the smaller ones. And then up here, just a few of the Maybelline Eye Studio little quads. Yeah. Isn't this drawer pretty though? It just looks so nice. I like it. Okay, now we're getting into some of my lip products. So these are Milani. These are really, really good. Revlon, Maybelline, a couple, Makeup Academy. These are the Maybelline Color Elixirs. I have a ton of them. More Maybelline, Rimmel, Kat Von D in the back. These are Wet n Wild right in here. And then over here is just an assortment of like crayons, lip glosses, mostly lip crayons, like the CoverGirl Jumbo Gloss Balms. Um, there's CoverGirl, there's Tarte, pretty much a little bit of everything. And then up here are the Jordana Modern Mattes. Some of the Too Faced La Cremes, like these gold packaging. Um, there's some LA Girl on the bottom, Girl Lactic, NYX, and Wet n Wild. Good grief, I know, but it's so pretty. You can't say it's not pretty. Okay, sorry if this is a weird angle. I had to move my camera to the floor because we're like at the very bottom. So in here I have the NYX Simply Lip Crayons. That's what all of these guys are. And then on the bottom I have the Wicked Lipsticks. I have all of them from also from NYX. In here are the High Voltage Lippies, again from NYX. And I have a bunch of the Butter Glosses, the Intense Butter Glosses, and the... Matte lip creams, is that what they are? It's mostly butter glosses and high voltage. In here, these are all Ofra long lasting liquid lippies, which I did a video on. In the back are all my ColourPop Ultra Mattes. Over here, these are all Buxom lip, full on lip creams or lip paints. And then over here, this is just an assortment of like everything. It's overflow, it's lipsticks that I don't know what to do with because I only have like a couple, you know, I don't have enough to make like a collection in a little basket. So it's just an assortment. It's a lot of drugstore, a lot of Rimmel, Revlon, 
um, L'Oreal Makeup Academy, Sonia Kashuk, just a little bit of everything. So yeah. Okay, so now getting into my Alex drawers. This top drawer, I have like the back part of it pretty much empty for like new products because I'm always getting new stuff. I have two of my favorite makeup bags. This one is from Colleen Rothschild and this one is from Jouer. Then in here I have um, concealers that I use a lot. So my LA Girl, my Urban Decay Naked Skin, NARS Radiant Creamy, the Marc Jacobs little highlighting pen. What is this? Oh, this is a MAC um, 24 hour eye base. And then I have the Maybelline Master Conceal, a Race Paste, Time Balm from the Balm, a Pixie Corrector. This is a corrector from Becca. And then the Anastasia Concealers. So these are just ones that I use more often. And then over here I have highlighters that I kind of grab for often so I just put them in here so I have my Becca which ones are these champagne gold and rose gold these just couldn't fit in my little beauty box so I just stuck them in here a couple Gerard some NARS a Bobbi Brown shimmer brick wait I'm not in focus um a physician's formula a little nude you guys have seen me talk about that one and then a Laura Mercier and Girlactic. Oh, and then a MSF from MAC. This is soft and gentle. In the second drawer, these are mostly Morphe palettes. I put my little Too Faced Stardust palette in there because I just got it and I have been wearing it a lot. It's really pretty. Then I have the Maya Mia palette from Anastasia, which I freaking love. This video is going to be seven hours long. Look how pretty that is. Um, my Lorac Pro contour palette. This thing is amazing. The best contour little kit that I've ever used. Oh, there's my makeup free face. Um, what else? A MAC Warm Neutral Palette. My favorite Makeup Geek Palette. These are like the ones that I use all the time. And then I have some Makeup Forever Artist Shadows. More Makeup Geek. A couple of these guys are MAC. And then these are all just Morphe palettes. You guys know my love for Morphe palettes. Amazing. Okay, this third drawer is lip products that I need to film videos on. So I have some Smashbox, some Becca, some Soap and Glory, the Meat Matte Hues um, Liquid Lippies from The Balm. These are new Ofra ones that I got after I filmed my Ofra video. I have all of the LA Girl, their new, what are they called, matte lipsticks, matte flat velvet lipsticks. There's 26 of them. I have some new Girlactic ones, and I have some new Butter London. Under these balm lippies, I just have some of my favorite liquid lipsticks. So I have some from Dose, Gerard, Anastasia, and yeah, just a little assortment. This next drawer is all skincare. So I have my Bioderma wipes. I have some e.l.f., some First Aid Beauty, Sephora, Estee Lauder, um, Laneige, of course. Laneige is my all-time favorite skincare brand. They're the bomb. Then in the back, I have some Murad, some more Estee Lauder, um, L'Occitane. <laughs> oh, and I also have Fresh. This is the Fresh, I feel like I'm not in focus, eye cream and the Fresh Rose Hydrating gel cream. Wow, that was difficult. Okay, moving on. This bottom drawer, to be honest, is a huge cluster. You know what? I have some tin foil for when I touch up my hair, and this is what I use to touch up my hair color, the Joico Color Intensity. So I just have that back there because I have to do that like twice a month. And then I have some Q-tips and some of my Shiseido little facial pads. Aquaphor, some just extra skincare that I didn't know where to go with it. Um, the Scott Barnes Body Bling, this stuff is amazing. My girlfriend Jen has it and I loved it so much so I came right home and ordered one. Um, and then I just have another Scandinavia Primer Spray, the Lush Mask of Magnum Minty, Righteous Body 
Buddy, <laughs> the Righteous Butter from um, Soap and Glory. And then look at this. They sent me this from Soap and Glory. It has my name on it. Like, how cute is that? And my all-time favorite body butter, the Josie Marin Whipped Argan Oil Body Butter, which is my freaking life. Okay, moving over to the other side. This is blushes that I use a lot. So I have my Morphe Blush Palette. I have my two Tarte blush palettes. These were limited edition. This one is the business. I love that thing. And then this little Laura Geller one that I ordered. Um, and then I have two NARS palettes right here. These are both balls, And just some blush singles. So I have some NARS, MAC, Tarte, Milani, Sonia Kashuk, um, Too Faced Love Flush. These are all Clinique. Um... What are these guys called? I'm drawing a blank. Oh, the pop blushes, like Plum Pop, Heather Pop, they're really good. And then the balm, the balm, oh my god, you guys, I've been at this too long. Um, Benefits box blushes, and then these are the balm. These are their little, like, boxed blushes. And what are these guys? Oh, these are the different Milani ones, like the newer ones. Those guys, sorry, I'm really trying to stay in focus. My camera does not autofocus, so it's a little bit difficult. If any of this video is blurry, I apologize. But that is my little blush drawer. Put you back, little guy. And then the next drawer are bronzers that I use a lot. Excuse my wash basket. Um, so we have Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Duo and the Pro Bronze Fusion. Then I have a Guerlain, an Hourglass, and a Smashbox. Another Physician's Formula BB Beauty Balm. I don't know why it's called that. Um, this one is from Model Co. I think I got this in like a boxy charm, and I've been testing it out. It's really nice. And then I have my beloved Girlactic Matte Bronzer in Cabo. What's back here? Oh, this is the Smashbox Contour Kit. And then Bahama Mama from The Balm. My Kat Von D contour kit is down there and then my favorite Marc Jacobs let me see if I can open this with one hand Marc Jacobs Mirage filter this thing is the greatest bronzer I've ever used and then my Too Faced contour kit which I really like and NARS Laguna and Casino and then these are all Too Faced these are actually from the bronzer wardrobe that's back on my bookcase. I just took them out and put them in this guy. And then my favorite Milani Tantastic. Okay, the third drawer is one of the most gorgeous drawers ever. This is all ColourPop. So these are my ColourPop lippy sticks. And then this is, what was this called? Mondays in Malibu. I took one of them out because I use it all the time, but it's just um, eyeshadows. So we have highlighters back there, blushes in here. I know, seriously, let me set this down. And then in here, we have eyeshadows. And then I have the Coffee Break with Danny Metamorphosis little quad, and I also have Kathleen's Where the Light Is quad. Yay, ColourPop! Isn't this just the most gorgeous drawer? <gasps> Okay, sorry, I had to put you guys on the tripod. What is that? Oh my god, this monostat keeps showing up in the most random spots. Okay, so this drawer is palettes that I use a lot. So I have three of my Marc Jacobs palettes, and then this little NARS guy. What is this? This is Outer Limits. Look at that. It's so pretty. And then there are some more Makeup Geek singles this Makeup Forever little trio that I made, a Buxom palette, a Becca Ombre Rouge palette, <gasps> so much eyeshadow, you guys, and then this little um, Marc Jacobs um, trio. And then there's just some more singles over here. There's some NARS down there at the bottom, and then a Laura Mercier and a Bobbi Brown. This is Bobbi Brown Camel. <gasps> I love it. This guy over here is the Love Your Selfie palettes from Pure Minerals. It's really nice. I just got it. And then up front here, I have the Balm New Dude palette, which they just sent to me. Here, let me show you guys what she looks like. Right? Isn't that really nice? 
I haven't played with her yet, but oh, that sounded really bad. So I have that, and then I have my Urban Decay 1, 2, and 3, my Kat Von D, um, my Monarch, and my Chrysalis palette. This is a Makeup Geek little palette, but I mean, you just buy it empty. I don't know if they sell it anymore, but I depotted my Dual Intensity shadows from NARS and I put them all in here. And then I have some Makeup Forever eyeshadows and uh, this, you guys, I freaking love this electric palette from Urban Decay. It is so good. I grabbed for this way more than I ever thought I would. And I have an Anastasia, what is she called? The Cont Contour, the Artist Palette. This is really nice. And my Lorac 1 and 2 are in here, right here. Oh my goodness, you guys. I'm trying to do this with one hand so I'm not like putting my hand in front of the camera. Lorac 1 and 2. And my Too Faced Chocolate Bar and Semi Sweet. Yep, yep. And then the bottom drawer is super, super random. I have some of my favorite Shiseido um, facial cotton that I use. I have a ton of mascaras. I know it's kind of cut off, but it's just all random mascaras and then just wipes. A ton of wipes. I have e.l.f., Bioderma, Pacifica, number seven. That's like a random one that I got at Marshall's, I think. So yeah wipes out the wazoozle. And look at that little cup over there. Do you see that little cat cup? Someone sent that to me and I, I want to put makeup brushes in it, but I kind of need to like rearrange. It's so adorable. So that is pretty much it for the collection. Okay, so this is the final part. I'm going to try to make this super quick because I know we've been here for a long time. This is just my little shelf that I have, my little bookcase that I have. The bookcase is from Target. I got it like years ago. I just have some makeup brushes on the top shelf, this end that one of my friends gave me, this little rubber duck from Soap and Glory. This little camel holder, I always have people ask me, I think it's from either Pottery Barn or Anthropology. I'll try to find it and put it down below. This button, it says I wish a bitch would. Someone sent me that. And then my little bronzer wardrobe from Too Faced. Down on the second shelf, I just have some of my Too Faced Melted Lippies and the LA Girl, what are they called? Um, the LA Girl ones that are like the melted ones, I forget what they're called, but I have them in this little like candy jar type thing. This is just a little NARS container that had a foundation in it, like a um, liquid cream, not liquid, cream foundation, and I just put it there because I love me some NARS. I have some more Maybelline lippies in the back, some Marc Jacobs lippies, and then just some extra makeup brushes. There are makeup brushes everywhere. These are Christian Dior um, nail polishes that are just so pretty. I had to display them. I'll show you guys what's in this drawer. Let me just get in focus. In the top, I have some All May Color Care. I think that's what they're called. In the middle is a few J Cat, and then on the bottom is Bite Beauty. That was quick and painless. On the third shelf down, this guy, Dance Just Dance, that is from Marshalls. This one up here is also from Marshalls. So over here are the Revlon lip butters. They just look so pretty, right? And then more freaking lippies in there, which we're gonna go through, but I'm gonna show you guys all of the shelves and then we'll get into like the little drawers. Um, down here, I have this little her herpy, happy, oh my God, happy birthday, little sign that Nick made for me in shop class. More makeup brushes, my Gerard lippies, the whitening lightning, like lip glosses the watercolor set from Bite Beauty, which I don't really care for. And then these are some of the Tarte lip, I forget what they're called, but they're like the balmy ones. And then these guys, we need to get close up. These are the NARS lip balms or like lip pots that they don't make anymore. They are so amazing. If you ever see them anywhere, get them. I love them. I will put them down below, like the names and everything. And then in here, these are all just random lip balms. These are some little books and just little things that were sent to me for my subscribers. And then on the bottom are all of my SE nail polishes. Let me get this bitch in focus. So all of my SEs are down here. Isn't that just a gorgeous sight? Ugh, love it! 
Okay guys, I had to put you on the tripod, so let me flip my little viewfinder so I can actually see what I'm doing. So these drawers are very random. In here, I just have like two Revlon lippies and a couple OCC lip tars. In the second drawer, I have three NYC lippies. I told you it's so random. These are all Rimmel Kate Moss lippies in here. And then the bottom drawer is empty. Over here, I have some Rimmel Provocalypse, some of the Rimmel Show-Offs, and again, just random. There's a NARS one, there's another NARS Recusion. I have them everywhere. A NARS, I think that's Dragon Girl. So yeah, a fresh lip gloss, fresh beauty. So totally just like everything is just like thrown together because I am just running out of room. In here, I have L'Oreal lipsticks. Tarte lipsticks, and then these are from the brand Gosh. I gotta move this. Oh, what's in here? I discovered stuff in here. Oh my god, there's all of my liquid liners. I was looking for them. Son of a biz. Let me scooch this over. In the third drawer, I have some CoverGirl, some Lorac, Gorgeous Cosmetics, Elizabeth Arden. Again, it's just a total assortment. Can you guys see that? And then in the next drawer, we have Annabelle. Do you guys know the brand Annabelle? My girlfriend from Canada sent me these. And then some Wet n Wild. Hey, I hope you guys can see. It's hard for me to tell while I'm filming. And then the next drawer, I have some more of the um, Rimmel Show Offs and then some of the L'Oreal Glossy Balms. Don't they just look so pretty though, like all together? In the bottom drawer, we have Pure Minerals. These are really good lipsticks, the pure ones. And then some of the Bourjois Rouge Edition Velvets. These are also amazeballs. You know what? I need to use these. I'm going to keep those out. Okay, and the final little area. The top drawer is empty. The second drawer has my Lamette and Lalax from L'Oreal. And then over here on the right, these are some of the Milani Power Lips that were out last year. And then the bottom drawer has Milani glosses and Milani lip intense liquid color. Whoa, I cannot believe oh, we made it through guys. I am like dying, hello. So I hope you guys enjoyed my makeup collection. I know we've been here for a while and that was a lot to take in. So I'm just gonna say that I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time, bye.